Hi, this is Matt from Kempafelt Imaging Systems. In today's video, we are going to show you how to install the Guarding Vision Security app for iPhone users. First things first, you're gonna have to go ahead and find your app store. Click on that. You're gonna have to go into the search box here and type in Guarding, G-A-U-R. And then it should say Guarding Vision. And this is the app you're looking for here. And then you will have to install it by hitting the get button. And then once you type in your Apple ID and Apple password, you should get this open button. And then you click on the open button. Okay. Then you hit yes to this. It says so we have to allow guarding vision as uh, location services. So yes, and then go back, hitting the home button, and then finding the guarding vision app and opening it, then hitting the I agree. Okay, Canada is what you want to select because this is super important. Okay, um, you want to then log in and register by clicking there. And then you can either do it by phone or by email by clicking the little email icon. And you're wanting to follow these steps to uh, do the registration. Once the registrations come in, you're going to come into a screen that looks like this as well. You're going to want to hit this plus icon up here. And then you're going to want to do manual adding. Click OK. And then you want it to make sure that it says type IP domain. You want to give the alias a good name. Um, in this case, since we're doing a test video, it's going to be test. Okay. Um, under address, you're going to want to type in the IP address supplied to you by us. Okay. Uh, usually it's an external address. Um, and then you would want to put in down here the username and the password, and then click on save. Uh, for this instance, I'm gonna use our internal system. So just one moment. want to show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. So when you uh, after it's complete, you will get a setting that looks like this, um, but yours will actually have cameras listed in the list, and it'll look something like that. And this is how they would come and appear to you afterwards. Okay, and just as a quick tutorial as well, you can do things like zoom in by holding your, your fingers back and forth, like that, zoom in and out of the picture. You can change the style, how many cameras you want to display, all by clicking these buttons below. Okay, you can also click on said camera. And then you can use these options down here to change it from HD and so on and so forth. And we're custom, is what we have here. You can take a snapshot of a live video you can also scroll this around. If you had a PTZ, you can use the PTZ functions to move the cameras around. If you have those features, it depends on the camera of choice. You can also click on settings up top to go into playback. And playback allows you to do things like look at pre-recorded video, um, stuff that was in the past, and usually use this down here to move it back and forth to change the time of the, that you're looking at for the camera. 
Another area to just mention is if you have notifications enabled, your notifications will come in through the notifications window of the app. If you have any other questions, you can always contact us back at 705-733-8881. Thanks.